Now I um, want to do a blossom. So I have one up here that I'm going to paint. One of the beauties about watercolor painting is it's essential to save some of the, the white paper. So that's my, my goal in painting this. But the shadows of white objects reflect all color. So um, I can use blues and pinks and yellows to create the um, form shadows on this petal. I'm just painting on it dry and I'm not working from a photograph so I'm just using my knowledge of what happens to the form of this flower. In other words, what makes it look three-dimensional. So I think about how the light can catch where it will hit. Uh, the light hits the surfaces that are the highest, closest to the light surface. I have this one piece now that is uh, wet, so I'm going to draw a little other color into it and then move to another segment. Now in reality, the, the centers of these flowers help achieve the, the depth of the center of this flower. Dropping in a little other color. As I drop in color, I'm using clean color. I strive for keeping my paintings as clean and untouched as possible, so you know, I don't work back into them too much or too long. There are two times that you can paint on a watercolor painting, when it's completely wet and when it's completely dry. Now, except for painting the stamens, that might be finished. I don't want this flower to be as important in a way as the other two that I've painted. I'm just working here because I want to demonstrate um, a technique. If I were to bring that green right up to that edge of blue, it would bleed together. So I don't really want that to happen if it um, bled together, it wouldn't be the end of the world, but I'd like to control just how much bleeding it might might take place. So I can continue painting this shape and watch this blue shape on the flower and when I think it's dry enough, I'll go ahead and finish. I I just I pick up other color to drop into the wet paint. Just a little bit of a a brownish to neutralize that green slightly. That demonstrates uh, everything that's in the painting, uh, flowers, leaves, with the exception of some background shapes. 